What's good, gang? It's your boy Grams back with another video. Please like, comment, subscribe. But I don't want to talk about it no more. Let's get into it. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? All right, check it, right? Listen, I want you to understand something, right? Personally, I, re I, re I really don't care about who snitched, who didn't snitch, or whatever the case may be, because it's part of the game. I understand that it's part of the game. But in this situation right here, you know, there's a lot of talk and a lot of speculation going on. You got a dude by the name of Terrence Gangster Williams, right? Who put in a lot of work, a lot of pain, who also, who also happens to be Birdman's brother. And this dude didn't just tell on dead people. He actually went from prison to prison, lining inmates up that was fighting to get out of prison, getting close to them to get their story. And, um, well, this is the story of how he got home. And it's not alleged. This, switch my glasses, put my reading glasses on, even though I can barely see what these, these are dirty. I need my cherry cloth. Let me see if I can clean these off a little something, something, right? But I want you to understand something. There's no way in this video, right? I'm reading all of this. There's, there's, there's no way. There's no way. This, this. I want you to understand something, right? This is, this is what we're dealing with, right? Paperwork. See the docket number up there and all that. This is paperwork, right? This is a book. This is the whole court transcript of dealing with Terrence Gangster William. So let me read. Let me, let me read a couple of pages for you real quick, just to make you understand what we're dealing with. I'll give you the docket number and all the rest of that. So, Vlad, if, if you want the truth so we can stop playing games, Vlad. Vlad, if you want the truth so we can stop playing games, I got the paperwork. I'm willing to bring the paperwork, mail the paperwork to you, make copies, whatever I got to do, so you can have the paperwork on, on the case files of this dude and all the people that he, t that he told on. He didn't just tell on dead people. This dude used... His, his his gangsterism, his gangster life story, his celebrity brother's background to get close to dudes. And well, Terrence Williams, a.k.a. Gangster, was interviewed at the United States Courthouse, Brooklyn, New York. President of the interview was Special Agent Thomas J. McNally and Detective Jeffrey. New York um, City Police Department, Williams provided the following information. Williams stated that he, Williams, heard that a Muslim brother who was in transit through MDC, MDC. What are you doing in MDC? What was you doing in MDC? That Angelino was going to make trouble for Williams if, 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 if he, Williams, takes the stand. Take the stand on hold. Williams also stated that he was in, um, in conversation with a prisoner McCullum's no uh, no further identity who stated that Williams that S dot is my main man Williams believed that McCullum's may be jailed on an insurance fraud charges all right cool whatever it's too many pages but I'm just trying to give y'all just a little bit of an insight on the situation Terrence Williams date of birth 11 4 1974 was interviewed at Eastern District of New York on August 2nd in August 28, 2012, present at um, various times during this interview were Assistant United States Attorney Matthew, New York City Detective Jeffrey, and Tony Vigania, Viga, Viga, Viga whatever the hell that is, however you pronounce that, and Federal Bureau Investigation Special Agent Thomas J. McNally. After being advised, of the identity of the interviewing agent, detective, and the nature of the interview, Williams provided the following information. Williams stated that he is currently sharing a cell, 22, since May of 2012, in the segregated housing unit, SHU, of the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, Brooklyn, New York. With Timothy, Williams further stated that um, Pinky told Williams that 
law enforcement are trying to hook Pinky to S. Dot. Right? Y'all follow on this? So S. Dot and um and Pinky or whatever may be co defendants, whatever the case, I'm assuming, whatever the case may be. Williams explained that Pinky is nervous about a murder he Pinky committed sometimes in two, 2008 in Long Island for retaliation of, and it's blanked out, being killed. Pinky confined it in Williams that he Pinky is very nervous about law enforcement finding out about this murder. Pinky described himself as being on camera during the murder and that it took place inside of the project house lobby. Pinky also stated to Williams that he Pinky shot an individual in the stomach who survived and the other victim died. Pinky recounted that they drove to the location in Lincoln, uh, the Lincoln Navigator and entered through the rear of the projects. Pinky was nervous about doing the job. So uh, the job on Long Island because they closed down the bridge. If something happens, William recalls that Pinky may have um, mentioned being in possession of a 40 caliber Glock the time of the shooting. Williams also told Pinky that he, Pinky, was involved in a jewelry store robbery in which a Spanish guy was shot sometimes in 2008 or 2009. Pinky described the ammo, the clip that left behind, the $12,000 to $13,000 in cash that was taken. Williams stated in regards to the um, the violence with S. Dot and Pinky. Now, I'm not reading all these pages. The first, the, the first two pages gave you enough to let you know what time it was. So what happened was your mans got close. Terrence Gangster Williams, he wanted out of prison. He couldn't take that lifestyle no more. He wanted out of prison. So what he did was he worked the prisoners who looked up to him for his reputation and celebrity status. He got close to them. And he got information out of his case. He went to jail. He wore wire inside the jail. He wore wire. There is audio tapes of this. He wore wire inside the jail. And this is how he's home right now. Talking about assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum 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 salam my brother. No absolutely not. Now me. I know that Allah forgives all. You know it's, 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 it's a law job to forgive. But the reality of it is. A snake is a snake is a snake is a snake. And dudes do some of the foulest stuff in this world and then run and they go run up under Islam in the penitentiary, right? Because then they're protected. Because in the federal penitentiary, if you're a rat, the Muslim brothers are still going to protect you if you take if you take your shahada after the case. They're gonna protect you because Allah forgives, and we understand that Allah forgives. But in this situation right here, I want you to understand something, right? Once you work for the feds, you always work for the feds. So all of you dudes out here. Getting close to this brother, confining in this brother your your, your 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 stories and letting them know what you're doing and just letting them around your, your your circle. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. He is only trying to get close so that so that he can give the FBI information. And it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I ain't got to give you no long drawn out video. Terrence Gangster Williams got plenty of paperwork. I'm gonna put some of this paperwork. Well, you can find it on my Instagram, Poppy from BX River. But I get it's impossible for me to put all of these pages up here. The docket number is at the top. The docket, the, the court stamp is at the top. When you look in that paperwork, you should always look at the docket number. You should always look for the court stamp. When you go to the docket number, you can go automatically, directly to the case. So it is what it is. This is the paperwork. This is for Terrence Gangster Williams. Vlad, if you want the paperwork or whatever the case may be. So we can confirm that he ain't just telling on the dead, he's telling on the living too. It is what it is. Y'all know how to reach out to me. Poppy from BX River and Instagram. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Let me tell you something, man. Rules. When you go to jail, right? When you go to jail because you commit crimes out there in the streets, do not discuss your court case with anybody just because a dude that is in jail for committing a crime don't mean he want to stay in jail. And sometimes a district attorney will give a love, a, another criminal, another inmate leniency to convict you, soldier boy. 
The whole key to it is, is getting a conviction. So they'll give one inmate less time to get another to get another inmate convicted of a crime. It is what it is, man. Stay out of them streets. The streets ain't made for everybody. That's why they made the sidewalks. And the reality of it is, the streets ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I'm out.